And here's my issue with a lack of proportion as it relates to the plan or story of God. Is that when you get a lack of proportion, here's the underbelly. It usually results in stressing and striving. Because now you adapt and adopt a concept that says nothing's more important than what I'm doing. And I will work so hard as to ensure that everyone sees that I belong here. This is important. I am anointed. And all of my work and success, the business I'm building, the family I'm raising, the church I'm a part of, the sermons I'm preaching, the books I'm writing, all of these things will prove that my life is super significant and important. And oh, brothers and sisters, I am not here in any way, shape, or form, do not misunderstand what I'm saying, to lessen the significance of your value before God. But I'm 43 now wearing a beanie, so I'm going to tell you the truth. (laughs) Guy looks like he's at a ski resort, for goodness sake. How about grow up and comb your hair? So... Here's what a lot of preachers won't tell you is that the role you play is a cover so that God can just partner with you because he just wants to connect with you. And here it is. He just wants you. And he's like, I'm going to make you a preacher and then you'll like talk to me and we'll talk and we'll partner. And, 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 and then we'll get to know each other that way. I'm going to give you a talent in the business world, and you're going to build a business. But it's, remember, it's not the business. It's not even the outcome of the business. Well, my business went bankrupt, so I guess I wasn't following Jesus. What? What? No, no. Oh, so now we're like everybody else. Now only the outcome indicates whether or not God has blessed something. So we're attached to the outcome just like the sports teams and just like the Forbes 500 list. I thought we were different. 